Welcome, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College, Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EDT 121, Digital One. Today we're going to discuss some of our common fixed function gates and all those crazy numbers that you guys have been dealing with when you're picking them up out of the drawers. First off, we need to talk about CMOS versus TTL. They're both ICs, but if you could think of them this way, one's Ford, one is Chevy. They both make sucky pickup trucks that are designed to go places, but they're just two different technologies to get you there. Okay, uh, TTL is a five volt CMOS. There are five volt CMOS too, but they're typically 3.3 volts. That's their high. And TTL has a five volt high. Okay. So let's talk about what these numbers mean. Okay, 74, let's use one that we've been on. Uh, I think we've got LS in the lab. 74 LS04. Okay, what is this? There's, you can break it up into three parts. By the way, it's called a 7404. When you say, what do you want? I want a 7404. This is LS, we'll talk about this. Okay, what is the first two numbers? That's your grade. There's two grades. 54 is a military, and those are typically, you know, a little bit more beefy. Um, sometimes ceramic cases. They're built to higher specs. 74 commercial. Okay, LS. That's kind of your series. We'll go back into this. And the last two gates are the last last two numbers are the gates the type of gates that are on it okay so we already talked about grade what is the series our series is basically a bunch of uh, identifiers designed to indicate how this chip operates so these ls that we've been using is a low power shot key ttl these things are not really important uh, the series you know, you could have a 7400 S Schottky TTL. You could have a 7400 ALS or a 7400 F, um, so, excuse me, 74 F04. So it's still going to be an, an inverter. It's going to still going to be a hex inverter. But this right here is a fast. TTL, meaning its propagation delay is only 3.3 nanoseconds, versus this guy, that's a low power shot key, but it typically has an 11 nanosecond propagation delay. We'll talk about propagation delay in a little bit. Either way, fast, it's a faster chip. LS, a little bit slower chip. Um, regarding some of the CMOS devices, though they also have uh, a number of series to them. One of them could be an HCT. This T right here means it's a high-speed CMOS, high-speed C, high-speed CMOS, but it's TTL compatible. So if you used a 74, 74 HCT 04, you would expect that it's a commercial grade high-speed CMOS that's TTL compatible with a hex inverter on it. Okay. So that means you could also use 74LS04 with it, or a 74LS00, which is our NAND gate. Okay, so it means it's TTL compatible. All these series are, you'll basically have a table of them, is HC, here I'll write it down. And there's a list right there. These are just some of the more common ones. Um, you don't need to memorize these by any means, but just be aware that each one of these series has a different um, different performance characteristics to it. Um, I've neglected to mention TTL, and you guys are in EET 221. These are with bipolar junction transistors, CMOS, complementary metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors, MOSFETs. By CMOS is a combination of both of these guys here. There's also ECL, uh, emitter coupled logic. Don't see those too much. But these are the two 
just again, they're, they're Ford and Chevy, two different technologies that make the same thing. Now, let's talk about our final number, our gate here. This is kind of the most important one. And you don't need to memorize what gates they are, or how many there are on it, but you should know some real common ones, i.e. the 7404, the 7400. Um, I think you guys have been exposed to the 7410 in lab. Um, I think that's all you've used so far. But anyways, what is these gates? These gates, all it is is a two digit, um, well, right now, for right now, it's two digits. There's gonna be other ones with a lot more digits after that. But the gates that we're using, the simple logic gates have two digits, where a zero, zero is our NAND. And how many of them are there? There's four. And how many inputs do they have? There's two. Number and type. Our 7404, it's a not. How many of them? There's six. How many inputs? Well, there's only one. Okay. So these things, like a 7400, is a quad two input NAND gate, meaning that there are four NAND gates with two inputs each. Our 7404 is our hex inverter, i.e., there's six inverters. So if you go into that little Bible book, um, the yellow TTL uh, book there, you're going to see maps that look like this. And that's basically the pin in and pin out diagrams for the 7400 right here and the 7404. So again, 7400 quad to input NAND. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, i.e. quad. And then there's two inputs, one and two, and the output three. Inputs four and five, output six, our sevens are ground pinned. Inputs nine and 10, output eight. Inputs 12 and 13, output 11. Our 14s are VN pin. Okay, our 7404, our hex inverter. There's six inverters, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in one, out two, in three, out four, in five, out six, sevens are ground. In nine, out eight, in 11, out 10, in 13, out 12, 14s are V in pinned. Okay? Versus, excuse me, a uh, 70, let's just, let's do this. 74 LS, let's just stick with the ones we're using. Zero, zero. Versus a, let's just grab this guy, 74 HCT, zero, zero. What's the difference? Well, this is our low power shot key. This is our high speed CMOS TTL compatible 7400. The same thing. It's just using different technology. The pin out and pin in diagrams are the same between a CMOS and a TTL. 